Leviticus 22 and verse 14. All right. What is heavier than lead? <laughs> What's heavier than lead? And what is the name thereof? What do you call it? What's the name of it? But a fool. <laughs> do you hear this? What is heavier What's than lead? What's heavier than lead? And what is the name thereof? What is the name of that fool? Thing that's heavier than lead. But a fool. A fool. Fool. You know, no one can say it like God. Nobody. Here, 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 here. Nobody. Viewer, are you heavier than lead today? Are you so wicked and so foolish and so rebellious? Don't let your mother or father or so-called pastor or church go and turn you against this message. This is the only message over social media or any form of media. Thank God that points you direct to the Bible. No opinion, no idea, none of it. Amen. No pre-planned messages, nothing written out, didn't study all the week. They give you a message to pitch you up. No, sir. Ah, amen. Someone said, well, I want something to encourage you. I'm encouraging you to stop being a fool. What do you mean? Lay down your hard-headedness. Lay down your rebelliousness. Repent and be baptized. Who? Who, Pastor Dennis? Every one of you. You know, we already have always gotten, amen, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of requests. People want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. But brother... Brother Isaac, since this pandemic hit the earth and that message hit creation last Sunday, that these are the beginning of sorrows, my Lord, the hundreds upon hundreds of international and domestic requests. Pastor Jennings, please, we want to be baptized. Want to be baptized. Even atheists are writing, admitting they were atheists and saying, now we know that God is God. And everything must. Get ready to humble yourself. You might as well do it. Don't even let no preacher, no devil, no demon try to steer you their direction. We are steering you to God. Who is it? Christ is he. Jesus is he. Eh? Do you hear what the Bible says? What is heavier than lead? Viewers, what is heavier than lead? And what is, what is heavier than lead? You know, you got some people, my God, their stubbornness. Their rebelliousness and their, their, their hard-headedness is very heavy. What do you mean? It's burdensome to you. You ever talk to someone over and over and over and you can't get through to him? You can't get through to her? You just can't tell them nothing. They think they know everything and don't know nothing. You show them in the Bible that is one God and the fool will still say it's three. You show them in the Bible it's one God and the fool will still say it's two. You show them in the Bible as one God and a fool will still say it's five. What condition are they in? Heavier than lead. They are heavier than lead. Eh? Amen. You show them in the Bible where it speaks plain. Flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. But what condition are they in? Heavier than lead. You show them in the Bible that there's only one church. And Jesus said upon this rock I'll build my church. They push it off. What are they? Heavier than lead. Thank God you show them in the Bible that your God so loved the world. He didn't just love black folk and just love white folk, but he loved the world that he gave his only begotten son or he offered up that body that was conceived in the house of David in the tribe of Judah. You showed them that he died for everybody. What are they? Heavier than lead. Heavier. Oh, thank God for his word. Heavier than what? Heavier than lead. You show them in the Bible that first in the church apostles, they say, ain't no more apostles now. What are they? Heavier than lead. Secondarily, prophets, they won't accept that. Heavier than lead. And yet the Bible said divine healing is still here. Heavier than lead. These signs shall follow them that believe that shall speak in new tongue. Heavier than lead. Anything that they reject in the Bible, you're heavier than lead. Heavier than lead. What is it? And what is the name thereof? What is the name thereof? But a fool. Foolish. Fool. Blind. Come on to holiness, viewers. Holiness is a life raft. 
is a life raft and here you out there swimming in sin sinking thank God but the life raft of holiness is just floating by with the prophets and the apostles right upon it eh? thank God in the current that's pushing this message to you is the current of the Holy Ghost amen you better go back to the third chapter of the book of Galatians, son. Back in Galatians chapter 3 and it's verse 1. It's something how the prophets and the apostles got the self-same spirit from God and working on the same thing here. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth? Bills, how did you get so bewitched? How did you get so bewitched that you will follow anything? How did you get so bewitched that you will see plainly in the Bible here or Israel the Lord our God is one and you get your little diploma your little doctorate of nothing degree and you come out with three persons and two gods and five gods and in India over three million gods how did you get so blind that you would actually stand in front of an image on a cross and pray to a statue how did you get so foolish how did you get so blind that you have an image of Confucianus in your house or Buddha and pray to it foolish. how did you get so foolish now amen that you think man can do what only God can do how did you get this foolish? How did you fall so far away from God? Oh foolish Galatians. Listen at this. Oh foolish Galatians. Oh foolish Galatians. Galatians. Who has bewitched you? What? Who has bewitched you? The media have bewitched millions today. Oh, the media have downplayed the reality of God. They are bewitched by media. They are bewitched by religion. They are bewitched by money. They are bewitched for the love of men, for the love of women, for the love of popularity. Their position of wealth bewitched them. Their status bewitched them. They have become bewitched by what they possess and what they own. They have sold their soul to the devil. They have turned their back on God and turned to the Illuminati and masonry and because they have gotten caught up in these secret societies so they can socialize with their own kind they have become bewitched who has bewitched you who have bewitched you democrats who bewitch you republicans who bewitch you movie stars actors and actresses who bewitch you false prophet who bewitch you mr apostle elder Bishop, half pint deacon, who be with you? Who has that you should not obey Acts 238? Who be with you? You say it's in the Bible. Repent, repent, who will take God and be baptized. Hallelujah. Every one of you, thank God in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But who be with you now? Who be with you and told you? Baptism is out with sign and with grace. You don't need it. You don't have to have it. It ain't necessary. Who be with you? Who be with you? Your love for your preacher is greater than your love for God until you will take his opinion over the Bible. You will take his views over the Bible. You will take his logic over the Bible. Anytime you take anybody's opinion, anybody's views, anybody's logic, over the infallible perfect wisdom of God thank God you're heavy like lead heavier than lead. Eh? Heavier than lead. I said you're heavier than lead what is heavier than lead what is Who heavier than take lead God glory to God what's heavier heavier than you lead you better give chapter and verse because I, I don't want nobody to escape from this scripture here back in Ecclesiasticus chapter 22 and verse 14 all right what is heavier than lead what's heavier than lead and what is the name thereof what do you call it a fool <laughs> what do you call it a fool look at you hey man you got your limousine down and got your freezerator in your car and bottles of champagne and sitting in your back car vaping hey man you in your house watching this program 
even though the pandemic is going on you're still living together living together not married you allow your relationship to be heavier than lead heavier than lead yeah heavier than lead thank god you love your money and you hate god your love for money is heavier than lead your love for that religion that's not found in the book is heavier than lead and when the holy ghost said what is heavier than lead what is heavier than lead and what is the name thereof what do you call it but a fool a fool what do you call it a fool a fool my god man i i, I love this no one wisdom no one can word it any better than god go back to ecclesiastes ecclesiasticus chapter 22 and you better begin at verse 11 again and then let's let's leave galatia the third chapter for now we'll go back to that back come on son back in ecclesiasticus chapter 22 and verse 11 follow me viewers weep for the day weep for the day for he hath lost the light and they're doing that now they're weeping for mothers fathers sons daughters grandfathers uncles aunts Amen. Politicians, thank God they lost their light. Amen. They lost their light, meaning they light, they life itself. The light of a man is the life of a man. And when the light go out, God takes that life out of him. And now he or she is pushed out of time right into judgment. Or rather, should I say, pushed out of time into eternity waiting for judgment. All right. Weep for the dead. Weep for the dead. For he hath lost the light. Uh -huh. And weep for the fool. Yes. For he wanteth understanding. Uh -huh. Make little weeping for the dead. Yes. For he is at rest. Yes. But the life of the fool is worse than death. The life of the fool. Oh, you see, a fool don't look at his life being worse than death. A fool say, live it up. That's what a fool say. You can look at a fool out there partying, having a big time. You know what they say? This is the life. And that's what they say. That's right. They use that term. Oh man, this is the life. All right, let's take what you said and compare it with what God said. But the life of the fool. The life, the life, the life of a fool is worse than death. Amen. All right, foolish man and foolish woman. Your life that you're living, I don't care if you don't believe it. You don't have to believe it. But your life is worse than death. And many of you looking at me now, you know this is the truth. Look around your house. You've been watching this program for years and years. Sitting there with your joint still in your house, your liquor all in your house, your bar still there, your six pack. Hey Amen. You were one of the ones that stood in line. Hey Amen. Before the liquor stopped, the liquor store closed. You got all them cases of whiskey. And I'm telling you, brother and sister, fool, take that case. Don't give it to nobody. Don't sell it to nobody. Take every bottle and pour that liquor down the toilet. Get on your knees and repent to God for being a fool. Huh? But the life you of drug dealer, you out here in the midst of a pandemic, still out here selling your dope. You're so foolish. You're so wicked. You're so ungodly. Why? Why is it? that so many millions ignore this message don't want to hear it because they have no fear no respect for god they love money they love prestige they love women more than they love god eh? they love men party women fast cars jewelry fast life more than god oh red take god but i'm telling you right now God gonna hit you. Huh? Yes, he is. God Almighty gonna hit you. He's hitting the world now. He's hitting the world now. Oh, and take God, even preachers. Some of the preachers don't want to go in their church. They broadcasting from home. Huh? Amen. They're in their home, but glory to God, you're not safe there. Oh no, thank God. Amen. When the death angel passed through Egypt, glory to God, all the firstborn of every Egyptian in the house. Amen. They wasn't safe inside of their house. The death angel stepped in the house. Thank God and took the first horn, hallelujah, of every Egyptian. You can stay in your house and never come out. Oh, it take God, but you will never hide from God. And though the prophet said, if I lay my bed in hell, God is there. You better run. Thank God. Where, where shall we run, Pastor Jennings? You better run 
on to the truth of God and surrender your mind, your soul, your heart, your body and stop being an American fool, a Canadian fool, a South American fool, a European fool, an Asiatic fool. Stop being a fool. Thank God and give up your foolishness and turn your life in the hands of Almighty God. Weep for the day. What? Weep for the day. Blessed be the name of the Most High. Weep for the day. Cry. Mourn. Shed some tears. For the day. Who attack God for the dead. For he hath lost the light. Oh, he lost the light. And weep for the fool. Weep for the fool. For he wanteth understanding. He won't understand. Make little weeping for the day. Uh, make little weeping for the dead. For he is at rest. He's at rest. His, life, his life is over. He, he can't come back and do nothing. Amen. The dead cannot come back and repeat nothing. The dead can't come back and correct nothing. The dead can't come back and repent for nothing. The dead can't come back and redo one thing. Uh -huh. But the life of the fool. But the life of a fool is worse than death. I'm talking to you, viewer, viewer, viewer. You that know you a fool. I'm talking to you. All of them that put a thumbs down. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I'm talking to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. But the life of the fool. The life of the fool. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen, amen. That, uh, uh, that thing just down in me and it just pushes me to preach this, do you know? The life of, of a, a fool is worse than death. I'm warning you. I'm warning you, Mr. and Mrs. Fool. Hey, King Fool. Queen Fool. Amen. Political Fool. So-called Reverend Fool. Apostle Fool. Prophet Fool. Amen. Elder Fool. Bishop Fool. Assistant Fool Pastor. And Junior Fool Preacher. Huh? What did he say? But the life of the fool. Your life of the fool. You got your Rolls Royce because you don't rob the people. <laughs> your life of a fool is worse than death. And you riding around in your Rolls Royce, your Bentley, your Ferrari, got your fingernails all buff, thank God, and got rings on every finger. You got your fake blessing plan, thank God, and here you got your fake miracle water, hiring people to sit in wheelchairs to pretend like they can't walk, and you come along and pay them off. Throw your hands on them, they jump out the wheelchair because they don't have enough fear that they'll make mockery of God and pretend like God unhealed them. But the life of the fool, the life of the fool, of a fool, is worse than death. Worse than death. Worse than death. Worse than death. Seven days. Seven days. Do men mourn for him that is dead? You mourn for a dead person for a period of time. But for a fool. But for a fool. And an ungodly man. And an ungodly man. All the days of his life. All the days. And you find all of them that speak against the truth of God. Foolish. Foolish. They, they hear all this Bible. Amen. They can't even deny the fact that we lay in the Bible. I mean, we lay in it like a termite in wood. Eh? Lay in the Bible. But it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter how much Bible you bring to a fool. They don't want it. They don't want it. Why? Because the Bible is against the will of man. You better give me the eighth chapter, if you will, quickly, of the book of Romans. Romans. And begin at verse 1. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Let me show you the, the condition of man here. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh. Who walk not after the flesh. But after the spirit. But after God. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life that's in Christ Jesus. Hath made me made free from me the law of sin and death. From the law of sin and death. For what the law could not for do. For what the law could not do in that. It was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son. In the likeness of sinful flesh. And that's what God did. He sent his son into the world. Where did he come from? He came out the house of David. And from the tribe of Judah, the prophecy of the Son of God came from heaven. Thank God. And then the formation of the Son of God was formed in the house of David, in the tribe of Judah, in the womb of the woman, Mary. Thank God. And when it came out the womb, Paul said, it is quite evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Huh? God sending his own son. God sent his own son. In the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness. He appeared. Thank God as sinful flesh. He appeared as sinful flesh. He was in the likeness of it. And, and for sin he condemned sin. In the flesh. In the flesh. That the righteousness, that the of, the righteousness law of the law might be, be fulfilled, fulfilled in us. 
fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh who don't walk after the flesh but after the spirit now that's what make men and make women remain a fool and fight the word of God because of their love for the flesh you tell that man or woman you got to stop smoking they say word in the Bible it's wrong to smoke 